Deep within the coldest reaches of the northern reaches, Felix just kind of stands there and doesn't seem to indicate that he's cold at all. What a rebel. I am Game Guy. It's time for more Let's Play Golden Sun Lost Age. There are blue people here. I can't imagine why. Welcome back to Prox. Only the Mars Lighthouse needs to be lighting. In case you didn't think you'd be coming back here, so I'm a little surprised to see you. Yeah, I guess, um, it's, like, implied that Felix was, uh, here while he was presumed dead. Um, I don't think I need the inn, but let's, uh, let's raid the place, you know? The usual thing I do, running around, spamming reveal, missing sparkles occasionally, and most of the time finding nothing. Except this one time, where I actually did indeed find a potion. And everything was correct with the world. As it should be. As it should be. But no, like... I don't. Th I feel like there's a lot of plot details around the the whole parents not being dead, Felix not being dead, blah blah blah. That like really just don't go explained until it's kind of too late, ish. I don't recall if the game ever flat out said Felix was in Prox like at any point. It just seems weird to me. Also. I checked the ground. There's something buried in the snow. I gotta go get that. I gotta, I gotta get that. Uh, Felix, you're the one with the scoop. You gotta have the scoop. By the way, I changed the party around in case you haven't noticed that. I didn't mess with any of the Ginny, mostly because a lot of the the, the things I got going around here, pretty, the setup's pretty good. But I figured I'd let uh, the Warriors of Vale proper lead the party for a little bit. It sounds like a good thing. I may also try and actually swap party members in some fights coming in here, because, um, I don't know, we haven't seen how that whole mechanic really works yet. This is just the, uh, the village of blue people. Uh, I wonder if they're blue because they're cold, or if that's just some kind of native skin color thing. I don't know, it's... It's a weird sort of thing. I'm, I mean, you, we're in Magic World, it could be anything, really. Although that it seems like the females are kind of green-ish. Here's a shop. Um, yes, yes, hello. I want to actually take a look at the shop, because this is more or less the last shop in the game, so I figure I might as well take a look. Uh, between episodes, I did actually go ahead and... Um, I, I went and used all my game tickets. Uh, I also found this corn. I'm not going to tell you where. It'll be a mystery forever. <laughs> But I, I got, like, a bunch of shirts and shoes and such, and literally, after doing all that, I found out basically everybody has stuff like that already, except for Garrett, who did not have a shirt for some reason. But, yeah, everybody was already all set, so <laughs> I've since gotten rid of those. Uh, but I wanted to actually check on, uh, oops, I wanted to go to artifacts. Yes. I wanted to actually check on some of these, uh, weapons, see if any of them are any good. So I'm gonna take a quick peek through here, and I'll point out anything that catches my eye, but I don't expect anything to. So, you yeah. know. Oh, what? It's actually better for Garrett? Really? I'm almost tempted to uncurse him. I knew it would probably happen eventually, because, I mean, honestly, it's kind of limiting to have him there, but... Notice that uh, Piers can actually wear these dragon scales. I'm gonna go ahead and pick those up. Yes. Because all the, uh, the armor I have on him now does is just, um, you know, I don't even really want game tickets, but okay, here, blue hair, have it. <laughs> but, you know, it just, it's an increase in defense instead of that, but he also resists stuff, so I feel like it's kind of worth it, so, you know. And then I immediately find something that actually would be better. <laughs> but it's cursed, so never mind. This mysterious robe seems to be good for... What's her face? Not by a lot, but by a little bit. Uh, I didn't actually remember what it does special. I assume it does something, but you know, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll figure that out. Anyway, moving on. I went ahead and got the jeweled crown back. I actually sold it earlier, because I thought I wasn't going to need it, but I didn't bother to actually check <laughs> if it was good for anyone else, so, uh, there is that. Wait, is there another... 
Does it actually sell multiples? I didn't know it did that. I thought it was only one. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and buy back this Hestia blade. Turns out it's pretty good for Garrett. <laughs> I think it's better than the Gaia blade. I don't actually remember, but the Unleashed should be fire affiniated. Affiniated? I don't know if that's the right word, but... Regardless, he's gonna take it. I'll equip it to him once I find the Sanctum, which there should be one around here. I would darn well hope so, at any rate. <laughs> also, before I go, I noticed something else that's kind of interesting. Shops now sell mist potions! Yes, please. <laughs> Those are pretty nice to have, and I don't honestly know why they wait until, like, the very, very end of the game to actually do this. It's kind of annoying. So, all the characters I've got mist potions on, I'm just gonna buy a few, because why not? It seems like the thing to do. These, these are just really helpful as alternative options to, you know, just the general healing and whatnot. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give Pierce some, too, just for no real reason other than why not, you know? It's kind of a thing. Look at all these game tickets I have that I no longer need. I didn't actually see what else is in here. Nothing else of uh, interest, I guess. Okay, that was fun. Uh, now I just need to find a Sanctum so that I can uh, re-equip Garrett's thing and get stuck on a guy. There we go! Hi, Sanctum Man. No matter where I go, you always seem to look exactly the same. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove your curse here. I'm gonna do this, but I am gonna keep his uh, cursed helmet. I was looking at alternatives to that, but I don't. I didn't really see anything that was good. So unfortunately, he's gonna have to still be cursed, which means he's still gonna have the, uh, the cleric's ring. But this should be pretty good, I think. I'm gonna put this on, and okay. Oh no, he's been cursed again. Maybe one day he will not be cursed. Maybe that's why he's so dumb. I didn't even think of that until literally just now, but it's alright. Uh, let me go sell that real quick, and then maybe we can make some sort of progress. I don't know, maybe. And by sell that, I of course mean uh, the, the demon axe, but you know. I've been keeping a close eye on the northern skies. Once I see a bright flash in the distance, I'll know the last beacon has been lit. Well, if you say so. This is just a big ol' uh, snowy place, and there's a Venus dude guy down there. I gotta get down there and say hello. I have to get down there and say hello. I just, I have to. It is a thing that needs to be done. Hello. They're not here! Strange! We looked all over the village, and we can't seem to find any trace of them at all. Everyone says they've practically vanished without a trace. It's so strange. I don't think they... Look, I don't know what y'all are talking about, but you're gonna have to explain who they are. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Oh, sad face. Uh, Puel's... Puel? I don't know. Someone's gonna be very upset they didn't follow his order to free them, though. Free them? Felix returns to Prox, says his parents... Oh, my parents are gone. Of course they are! Because why not? <laughs> That's why I'm here now. The only thing is, no one else is here. I don't know where your parents went. That's a lie! Everybody's lying to me! I can tell because I'm a video game protagonist who just blurts out random accusations. You! Bet! No one loves you. <laughs> I don't know being so mean to the upholstery. Uh, is that the right word? I don't know. I don't care. Alright, well, now that that is done, how do I get Ginny Man? I gotta get Ginny Man. He's down there, and I can't... I cannot obtain him. At least not from here. Maybe I get him from down below. I didn't actually try going, like, up from the down. That sounds like a thing I might be able to do. Yes, it seems like there is a secret hidden path going this way. Hello, Secret Hidden Path. How are you, Secret Hidden Path? Oh, no! I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I promise. My bad. Well, here I go again. Oh, no! You're... Ah! You're in a pile of snow! It's a very unfortunate thing. What do I do here? Do I... Is this a scoop? Do I scoop? I scoop! I saved you! We're best friends now! 
Why is there a Venus guy in the middle of Snowland? <laughs> I don't understand. It's alright. I found mold. We're gonna break the mold. That's a joke. You can laugh if you want to. Strike a foe. Very, very descriptive. If I give you this... Okay, that'll help uh, hold your uh, status as a guardian. Alright, cool. We're doing, we're doing pretty alright. Is there even anything over here? Seemingly no. I don't know why reveal just kind of ended. It probably shouldn't have, but it is what it is, and it is what it shall be. All right. Well, you know, I'm having fun uh, just uh, running around. Was there a Ginny here somewhere? If you didn't have the, the Ginnies from the first game, I'm trying to remember. There's another one that's kind of around this general location. I don't know. I'll just edit in a, a thing. Huh. Can't wait for Geshio and his men any longer. Hmm, if we want, if we wait much longer, this wind and snow will make it impossible to reach the lighthouse. Hmm, I'm going to the lighthouse. Will any of you come with me? Pyol, I can't let you go on your own. If something were to happen to you, who would lead our village? Please, you gotta let us go in your stead. Hmm, how can you expect to accomplish what Geshio and Karst could not? They may have been more powerful than any of us, but we can't just stand by. They're not coming back, just like Satoros. You have to let us try. Nobody cares about Minardi, I guess. I can't. I can't allow it. You have a green face and a green beard. That's amazing, somehow. Listen to your elder. He speaks wisely. Mm, I'm speaking to you too, Puel. Gatio and Kost cannot do the task. How can you, a single man, hope to do it? I don't know. <laughs> what are you saying? If we stand around debating, our town is doomed for certain. We cannot risk sacrificing any more lives. Aww. So we must sit here and wait for a miracle to come. Hi, my name is Miracle. I am here. <laughs> you, Felix, it's you. I'd heard that you would return to us. You look so much stronger than when you left. Yeah, it happens. Isaac's here too, I guess. It seems he's brought some allies with him. Forget about the other seven people. Six people. I can math. Yes, I am Creighton, the greatest of party members. I stand around and do nothing. And this is Ivan. Hmm, Isaac, isn't that... That is the name of the one Acacia said it killed Satoros and Minari. Oh. Isaac, you better hide back inside me so we don't have to worry about this. That, that's... that's awkward. Isaac, stop that! What did he do? <laughs> you are correct, but Isaac had reasons for fighting them. Namely, they were trying to kill him first. It's kind of self-defense in a way. Um... <laughs> Staros and Minardi had invaded Vale, stolen a sacred treasure, triggered a volcano. Sad face. We cannot blame Isaac for pursuing and fighting them to regain what they had stolen. Uh, we only wanted to stop them. We didn't think they'd fight us to the death. They flung themselves into the opening of the Venus Lighthouse's beak. Staros and Minardi put up a good fight. Uh, a little bit, I guess. I don't know. I don't really remember, to be honest. I'll bet you thought you didn't stand a chance against them, huh? Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, you were probably really tense the whole time. Well, I mean, that is a final boss for you, but details. Satoros and Minari had a job to do, that was cool. If I'd been in your shoes, I'd have done the same thing. No, you wouldn't have. Are you as strong as Isaac? I don't think you're as strong as Isaac. Quick, arm wrestling test, go! Or not. <laughs> and in the end, you were stronger than they were. You should be proud of that. I'm sad they lost their lives in their quest, but there is no avoiding it. What has happened cannot be undone. We should cooperate and find a way to save Wayard. We understand that Agatio and Cost have made for the Mars Lighthouse and have not returned. And all that remains for us is to wait until Gaia Falls carries us all to our doom. It seems that Mars Lighthouse is as dangerous as the rest. Is as dangerous. Yeah, 
thank you. <laughs> I have only a few soldiers remaining, and none of them can make the climb to the airy. Only Satoros and perhaps Agatio are strong enough to reach the top. Okay, I guess nobody cares about Karst either, got it. <laughs> and none of them can help us now. You think we can do it? Well, I mean, we already got three out of four. What's another one? <laughs> I agree, Felix. We've climbed three lighthouses already. What? I, Creighton, I literally just said that. Like, almost that exact same thing. You stupid guy repeating me to sound smart. <laughs> They've proven themselves strong enough. I say we trust in Felix to do this. This is an unexpected turn of events, but yes, I think you can light the lighthouse. Hmm. Off to the Mars lighthouse! Let's go, Felix! Come on, Isaac! We can do it! Probably! Now, there's one thing I don't want you to forget. In order to light the beacon at the Mars lighthouse, you will need to have the Mars Star. Come on, Agatio and Karst have the Mars Star now. You must find Agatio and Karst, and you must take the Mars Star from them. Well, if they didn't take it from me, this wouldn't be an issue, but details. Future of where it rests in your hands. Okay, I'll do it. That's that thing I say in Thousand Year Door, so I'm saying it here. I don't... Well, okay. There it is! Uh, but over here, we can find that Avoid's effects wore off. Also, the world is, like, dying, maybe? I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> yep, and with this backdrop... Um... I'm not really sure how long this episode is, but, you know, this seems like a really fitting time to end it. So next time, we're going to the final lighthouse, the Mars Lighthouse, to light the final beacon and end this madness once and for all. At least presumably. You never know what'll happen. Anyway, see you later, goodbye!